Welcome to the 11th meeting of Session 6 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Before we move to the first item on the agenda, I would like to remind everyone present to switch your mobile phones to silent. The first item of business is to decide whether to take items 5 and 6 in private. Is the committee content to take these items in private? Yes, yes. Moving to agenda item number 2, we are considering an instrument laid under the European Union Withdrawal Act 2018. The committee is considering if the appropriate scrutiny procedure and the appropriate categorisation has been applied to SSI 2022-95 at the Crime International Cooperation Act 2003, Freezing Order, EU Exit, Scotland Regulations 2022. This instrument relates to orders to preserve evidence. When the UK was a member of the EU, an EU Council framework decision established the rules under which EU member states would recognise and execute in the territory a freezing order issued by a judicial authority of another member state in the context of criminal proceedings. The instrument has been laid under the negative procedure and is considered by the Scottish Government to be of low significance. Is the committee content that the appropriate scrutiny procedure and categorisation have been applied to this instrument. Under agenda item number three, we are considering instruments subject to the negative procedure. Issues have been raised on five of these instruments for failure to lay the instruments in accordance with the requirements under section 28.2 of the Interpretation and Legislative Reform of Scotland Act 2010. The 2010 Act requires that instruments subject to the negative procedure be laid at least 28 days before they come into force, not counting recess periods of more than four days. Four of the instruments in breach of the 28-day rule are laid under the Public Services Pensions Act 2013. These are SSIs of 2022, 100, 101, 102 and 103. The 2013 Act introduced reforms to public service pension schemes, including those in devolved nations. Transitional protections were provided for some scheme members which were found to be discriminatory against younger members in the Court of Appeal. The Public Service Pensions and Judicial Offices Act 2022 was passed containing the provision necessary to remedy the discrimination caused by these transitional protections with the 2022 Act receiving royal assent on the 10th of March 2022. The instruments close the existing legacy pension schemes, except for limited uh, uh, except for existing legacy pension schemes, except for limited purposes, uh, to the accrual of pension benefits on and after the 1st of April 2022. Members treated as being in pensionable service under the existing pension schemes will, on that date, begin accruing benefits in the relevant scheme established by existing regulations. In correspondence with the presiding officer, the Scottish Government explained that the regulations are as a consequence of the 2022 Act and are required to come into force immediately to ensure legal certainty and fairness. If there is a delay, then there will be a period in which certain members can no longer accrue pension in their legacy scheme, but the scheme rules would prevent those members from joining the new scheme. In relation to these four instruments, does the Committee wish to draw them to the attention of the Parliament under Reporting Ground J for failure to comply with laying requirements? And at the same time, is the committee content with the Scottish Government's explanation provided for these breaches of the laying requirements? The fifth SSI, where there is a failure to lay the instrument in accordance with the requirements under Section 28.2 of the 2010 Act, is SSI 2022-114. The National Health Service charges to overseas visitors Scotland amend regulations. This instrument allows overseas visitors lawfully in Scotland from Ukraine who have been displaced as a result of the ongoing conflict with Russia to receive relevant health care services provided by NHS Scotland at no charge. In correspondence with the presiding officer, the Scottish Government explained that the regulations are required to come into force immediately to provide clarity uh, to those who are responsible for making and recovering charges and to provide assurance to displaced people from Ukraine that they are entitled to receive any treatment and care they require from NHS Scotland at no charge while lawfully present in Scotland. Does the committee wish to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament under Reporting Ground J for failure to comply with laying requirements? 
and at the same time is the committee content with the Scottish Government's explanation provided for this breach of the lane requirements. Also under this agenda item, no points have been raised on SSIs 2022, 93 and 95. Is the committee content with these instruments? Under agenda item number four, we're considering an instrument not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised on SSIs 2022-94-C7. Is the committee content with this instrument? Yes. And with that, I'll move the committee into private.